Greetings, family. Welcome to Help Stop the Genocide in American Ghettos podcast. I'm your host, Emmanuel Barbie. If you are new to this channel or podcast, then please subscribe and share our content with your friends. This will help grow our audience. I provide a written transcript in the group with the same name on Facebook for those of you who don't speak English. I also... I also cite all of my sources under show and prove section. You can find all of my work under the about section on my YouTube channel and then scroll down to medium. I use this platform to, to interact with everyone on my friends list and everyone in my social groups by giving black business owners free airtime to promote their products and services. I give people in the faith community an opportunity to share the gospel of Jesus Christ and ordinary law-abiding citizens an opportunity to share their special talents and skills to my listeners from the podcast community. After the show, I offer my guest speakers an incentive by teaching them how to how to create their own podcast and YouTube channel to help them earn extra revenue during COVID-19. I also assist people on my friends list with creating basic websites, finding college scholarships and grants, housing and legal services all for free. Our goal this year is to raise $500,000 for our film projects. Hood Liberator Made in Chicago, The War Against Willie Lynch Begins. First, I would like to thank those of you who have donated to our film project. I encourage people from my friends list and people in my social groups who want to be a part of our film project to please send me your email address to my Facebook inbox. We will hold a private conference through Google Meetings to discuss the best methods of reaching others via social media, people from their friends list, donors, and local businesses. Your Kyle Chicago, the Grassroots Community Activist Institute of Chicago, mission is to help eradicate urban violence in Chicago through our programs and services. Our objective is to build a bridge between the diaspora and continental Africans through art, culture, and commerce. The Kai of Chicago will be in the business of creating docudramas, short films, theater, photography, fine arts, music, poetry, literature, sculpture, dance, and spiritual development for inner city youth and their families. Once this virus is cleaned up, we plan on launching African tours in order for us to move from behind the computer and make real connections with our global black family on the continent starting in South Africa. I created GRCAM, the Grassroots Community Activist Movement, because I got tired of all of the division among black people. I created GRCAM in 1991 on a site called Gopher. I wanted to create an organization that focused specifically on solving black issues in America. I wanted to connect with other like-minded African-Americans, Afro-Brazilians, Afro-Caribbeans, afro Europeans, African immigrants, and Afro-Latinos throughout the diaspora. This is a podcast where we talk about solving black issues slash African issues using a spiritual perspective as it pertains to the great awakening of our people that has been prophesied. Our objective is to get our film project fully funded and play it by ear during COVID-19. Once this virus is cleaned up, then we will shoot our film and promote our film in selected movie theaters and sell our DVDs. Together, we will put Gurkham on the map and turn my vision for Black America into reality. In 2021 and beyond, the grassroots community activist movement will be promoting a policy of global Black unity, ownership, and community support. Our objective is to be in a place where we own everything we consume and we support one another. 
we're reaching out to our group members and listeners and would like to encourage them to support our film project in three ways. Through our virtual store, Gracam merchandise such as COVID masks, coffee mugs, posters, handbags, and t-shirts. All proceeds will go towards our film project. Two, through our nonprofit organization, Gracam of Chicago. PayPal page. Donate donations can be used as a tax write-off because this is a legitimate 501c3. All donations are tax deductible to the fullest extent of the law. Three, you can support us by purchasing my revised book on my Amazon um, author page. Keep in mind, community. Community support is where we have to go, and please understand, when you're supporting our YouTube channel or our podcast, you're supporting an independent black network which will eventually employ black people in our films, stage plays, and in our actual business. I need African entrepreneurs, especially in South Africa, to come on the show and promote your businesses and ministries to the diaspora and vice versa. This is the weekend edition of the show. Today's topic, Gracam is not a one-man show. The Tut language and what can Africa learn from China. Before I go into my presentation, I need to say a brief prayer. Heavenly Father, touch the hearts and minds of every person who is listening to this video podcast. Prove to my enemies that you have called me to do this great work that is badly needed in our inner cities in America and in Africa and in Jesus Yahshua's name. I encourage all of my Christian friends from around the globe to please add my name to your prayer list. Ask the Holy Spirit to connect me with other like-minded black people who have the means and the skills to get our film project fully funded and made in Jesus Yahshua's name. I encourage my Christian group members and Light of the World Inspirational Group and Christian Spoken Word Network to please step up and don't just post your videos in the group. I need for you all to participate in this show by either calling in through our Facebook Messenger or if you are unable to participate then Watch my video podcast. Leave a public comment on my Facebook page about the topic. Most of all, please share my video podcast with your friends. This will help get the ball rolling. If you can, please purchase my revised book on Amazon and read my story. Or if you would like to purchase some of our items on our virtual store, then do that as well. Or give a direct donation through our PayPal page. I encourage people in my secular group, Gurkai of Chicago, Gurkai of Africa, and the New Black Voices of Media, to please uh, participate on this show as well. If you can, purchase my revised book on Amazon and read my story. If you'd like to, to purchase some of our items in our virtual store, then then do that. Or give a direct, a direct donation through our PayPal page. I encourage my my true supporters to use my medium page entitled the Kyle Chicago Film Fundraiser Project 2021. Without support from the black grassroots and the global black family, then I'm unable to do my job. All I can do at this at this time is pray and watch our children die in the streets. And I want to do more than that. That's how come I'm constantly trying to do these um, video podcasts to get my message out there trying to connect with other brave and smart black people to uh, work with me and Sister Renee and getting this um, film project popping. The grassroots community activist movement will raise the bar in black America and once we come to Africa and the Caribbean, we will raise the bar there too. At this time, I am the business, I am the grassroots community activist movement and all of my members are part of this new movement that will change black America and Africa as we know it. This is something 
we're doing together as a on a grassroots level. This campaign will get us in the habit of funding our own projects and building up our economic base without begging the financial elites. Even if you are unable to participate on the show, no worries. When you have a moment, please watch my latest video podcast. Leave a public comment on my Facebook page about the topic and please share my information with your friends. This will help get the ball rolling. Thank you. We're going to start getting things done. We need to own and control institutions in our neighborhoods. The only thing which is preventing me from turning my virtual Christian socialist organization, GERCAM, into a real black Christian business, GERCAM of Chicago, is the lack of manpower in the capital. This is why I turned to social media to get my message out to the public through my YouTube videos, my social groups, my blog postings, my online talk show, my virtual store, my revised book, and now through my future urban Christian film, Hood Liberator Made in Chicago, The War Against Willie Lynch Begins. This is my last attempt to try to do something positive for my racial group in America. The proceeds from the film will put me in a better position financially so that I can hire qualified black middle class professionals, buy office equipment, and purchase property on the west side and south side of Chicago. Kyle Chicago will be a great tourist attraction and help revitalize the black community and black businesses that's already there. Let's make history. Let's take control of our own community by supporting this black empowerment film. Our first topic, Gracam is not a one-man show. It's not my burden alone, but rather a shared burden for I am just one black man with a plan and a vision. Again, it takes a team to make a dream work. I created Christian groups and secular groups because it takes, again, it takes a team to make a dream work. The grassroots community activist movement is a global community of black thinkers and builders from around the globe. I have been on Facebook for 17 years trying to recruit brave and smart black people, African people and others to work with me and Sister Sister Renee and turning my ideas into a reality. Family, we're going to we are going to do what are we going to do about our situation in America? The reason why other groups can abuse us with impunity is because they have an economic base and they move as a collective group, meaning they are codified. We're the only group who allows sellouts to be among us. They are as follows. Black politicians, the black roulette, coons, hood rats, sambos, and urban terrorists. They are the ones who want to sabotage our progress. This Willie Lynch mentality, for the most part, makes many black think that we're supposed to be deprived of resources. I created the, the grassroots community activist movement in order to connect with other like-minded black people and African people who are all about black economic empowerment. My online groups is a safe space and drama-free healing environment where black people can exchange information and strategize on how we can improve our social conditions on a local, national, and international level. It's important that we have it's important that we separate ourselves from negative, small-minded people who lack a vision for our people. When other groups want to build something, they understand the power of unity. When we try to do group economics or group contributions on a grassroots level, most black people start imposing their, their opinions, saying things like, why don't you reach out to Tyler Perry or Oprah Winfrey? to help sponsor your film project. I am not going to chase any celebrities. They already know what's going on in black society. This is why I created my online groups. They are my base. Some of my critics ask, how long will it take before I get my film project fully funded and made? I tell them it's up to the black grassroots and the global black family. I have done all that I can do on my end. The ball is in their court. Some of the richest white people do fundraising. People like Richard Branson, who build rocket ships. 
they understand the importance of getting people involved. Um, Ellen Musk is also doing fundraising projects. I choose to go directly to the soil, the black masses, so that we can get into the habit of getting things done collectively at the grassroots level. A lot of black people prefer one person to do all the work and they want to see that that person fail because that one person is going up against a group of other people who are working as a team against black interests. This is why I keep talking about Nehemiah. He did not build the wall of Jerusalem by himself. He was able to get gather qualified architects, bricklayers, and engineers. The goal of this film project is to get people on my friends list and people in my social groups to get us into the mindset of contributing to building something productive in the black in black society without having to beg or depend on the financial elites or black celebrities. We need to get into having the mindset that we all can get this popping. My focuses on getting this film project fully funded and made so that we can make an impact in the lives of inner city youth and their families who are trapped in urban war zones starting in Chicago. That's how come I can't, you know, um, sugarcoat things because you can't sugarcoat genocide. So, you know, I'm not on here for entertainment. You know, um, we will have entertainment uh, in our business, but what I'm doing right here is not entertainment. This is just um, like, you know, a public announcement. Um, we need, we all need to get on code so that we can start setting up a protection mechanism without within our communities. I need your help to move Grakam from behind a computer in our urban communities that need our talents and skills. The proceeds from the film will allow me to create the first black grassroots owned and controlled multi-purpose facility starting in Chicago. The proceeds will also help put me in a better position financially so that I can hire qualified black middle class professionals to assist me and Sister Renee in operating Grakai of Chicago. In our facility, we want to provide a safe space for our inner city youth and their families. We want, we will offer conference rooms for black entrepreneurs, screening rooms for our documentary, short films and stage plays, host community events for local residents. In addition, we will offer career specific training in many facets of the digital media industry. Our students will learn hands-on cutting edge digital technology and production equipment. Our students will have access to several full, fully equipped functional and up-to-date audio recording studios, top film school technology and video editing um, suites a large film sound stage, show production venue, and creative web and graphic design labs with individual workstations. Our objective is to prepare our students for successful entry-level careers in the digital media industry. The training will center on intensive hands-on training and interactive distance learning, as well as continuing advancement in technology. We will we aim to ensure the, the highest quality education and learning experience possible for our students. Since Black America has rejected my vision and plans for the past 29 years, this organization will be membership based and private. None of my members will never have to endure such foolishness for Wanting, like I have done, for trying to do something positive in the black community. We will, we will raise the bar in black America. Everyone will be screened, must attend our mandatory orientation, and sign the community pledge. No exceptions. I also require thumbprint of every member in order to keep tabs on, on those who is doing 
what within the business. No hardened criminals, no active gang members, no urban terrorists, no pedophiles, and no half-steppers allowed in my organization. This is how I get down. I'm going to run my Christian business the way I run my home. That's drama-free. This is my contribution back to my community, society, and throughout the African diaspora. The second, my second topic, the Tut language. I came across a video which talked about um, Gloria Milliguin on the Tut language used among African Americans during the slavery era. In America. So she wrote a, um, a book about that. And so um, I want to encourage uh, my listeners, you know, if you're friends with me on Facebook, um, under um, the uh, video podcast, I'm going to um, post my um, transcript for uh, Medium. So all you have to do is click on there. And, you know, you will scroll down all the way near the bottom where it says uh, show and prove. And there um, you will be able to watch the uh, actual video about um, this wonderful sister that created this book. Um, I also found an article on Yahoo entitled Tut, a language used by enslaved Africans, is resurface, resurfacing on social media. This was a language that was created by descendants of American slaves or foundational black Americans. According to the article, it was illegal for enslaved people to read and write. So our ancestors had to devise a system in order for them to communicate with each other and teach one another how to read and write. Through this... Um, uh, they created their own language called Tut. This was a secret language kept away from white people. It was passed down through verbal tradition. We don't have our own institutions like we should in order to pass down such information to our youth. A lot of our young black people don't correspond with older black people like we used to do uh, back in the day because of this generational divide due to Willie Lynch uh, mentality within black society. That's how come once I'm, I'm able to get this organization up and running, I am going to declare war on this Willie Lynch mentality uh, within our black society uh, through this Christian business. The white supremacists don't want us to correspond with our elders. They love to see us raised in toxic family or dysfunctional families. We need to create black institutions so that we can preserve rare documents that are beneficial to black people. For me, success is in ownership. Success comes from owning your own talents and your intellectual property. Black people have to get into the mentality of ownership. I'm working hard so that I can benefit and our members can benefit off our hard work in getting the film fully funded and made, as well as getting our black institution established in Chicago. We live in a competitive society. This is why we have to control our own narrative and name ourselves. We are descendants of American slaves or foundational black Americans. We are a Pacific ethnic group. We have a unique history that other groups in America don't have. Our ancestors were forced to America against their will. That's just the doggone truth. And so, like, uh, within this organization, uh, Gurkai of Chicago, um, we're not going to let someone just come in here and try to hijack our, um, you know, our cause and our focus. That's why we're going to be screaming people. I ain't playing that mess. And also, um, you know, I would say once uh, the Lord take me, you know, once I transcend to um, the other side, you know, um, my revised book will always be the foundation of this organization so it can be passed down. So that's why, you know, it's very important that, you know, uh, our 
our members read, you know, the story, read the book, because that's basically, you know, what makes this organization different from other uh, black organizations. It's based on my experience. It's based on um, the vision that my creator has given me. And, um, you know, I'm just trying my best to uh, do something positive for my racial group here in America before I cut and run and take my talents and skills to the continent. But um, it, the main thing is uh, I got to uh, make sure that uh, this organization is going to be successful. Because right now, you know, I'm on um, a shoestring budget, so I'm trapped. I can't really be doing a lot of traveling and all that stuff. But that's why, you know, my focus is on trying to create um, uh, a positive uh, business that's going to help in, uh, enrich me as well as uh, help improve uh, our inner cities. So it's going to be a win-win situation. And it's going to help our people that's on the continent because once we launch our uh, African tours, I'm going to bring the best of the diaspora as well as, you know, our members within the community um, to different uh, African nations. Um, to people that's on my friends list, that's um, African entrepreneurs as well as um, Africans that have their own ministries. So that way we can meet uh, face to face, not just behind a computer. Okay, um, our third topic, it says, what can Africa learn from China? For the longest, Africa's image has been one of impoverishment, war-torn conflict, disease, and as a charity case. Africa is the richest continent on the globe, and yet it is home to the poorest people in the world. The question is why? Because Europe is trying to converge the rest of the world to be like them in terms of using democracy, capitalism, and their economic systems. It's up to every country in the world to figure out their own political and economic systems that are complementary to their people culturally and historically. That's the alternative. Africa can learn from China. China. Africa must create its own economic and political systems. The first lesson is, is there is an alternative. The second lesson is Europe, Europeans are not Thanos. Africa needs infrastructure, in, industrialization, and real fundamental work. 44 African leaders have been assassinated by France alone. What is Africa going to do about it? The goal of Gurkham is to mobilize African people worldwide to work with me and turn in my vision for Africa into a reality, which will transform our continent back to its golden age once again. At one time, Dubai was just a desert, and now look, look at it. It's a popular resort. It seems like Afri African countries are, aren't are progressing on the same level as many of these Asian and Middle Eastern countries who were at one, one point in time doing worse than African nations. We have the power that, the power, we have the resources. It's only our mindset that needs to be changed. This is why it's important for us to start building our black institutions that we own and control. This is not rocket science. This is not a hard thing to do. We could have gotten this organization up and running back in the 90s. Like our brother George Frazier said, it doesn't take a few people doing a lot. It just takes a lot of people doing a little. It's all about Connecting with like-minded people on the same page. Don't get fooled by these, what you need to do, small-minded people. You always hear a lot of what you need to, talk, need to do talk when it comes to building economic empowerment. Now, when it comes to us empowering other groups, then we don't hear all of that, what you need to do talk. 
this is as simple as ABC. Everybody put something in the pot so that we can get this project fully funded and made. What makes this kind of money? I mean, we make this kind of money for other groups every day as a collective. We're talking about $500,000. Everyone who contributes to our film project through our PayPal page, um, we will acknowledge them during the film credits as long as they're not anonymous. Now, if you're anonymous, then, you know, hey, I ain't going to know who you are. So if you want to be um, recognized for your contribution, then um, don't be anonymous. And also that way I can know who's really, you know, putting something in, you know. A lot of people say, oh, yeah, I did this and that, but, you know. Let's make history. Let's take control of our community by spreading the word about this film project of ours. So I need you all to just put me on blast, you know, for something, trying to do something positive. I want our members to understand if you are trying to elevate black people, we're going to acknowledge you. That's one of the reasons why I want to build this organization so that it it can become the heart of the black community. I want to let our youth know that if they are doing positive things in the community, we will openly reward them by either giving them a small role in our films, stage plays, or mention them in our newsletter. That's why it's important for us to build this black institution so that our youth can be inspired by our work and for them to want to be part of the solution. I'm also thinking of solutions and ways that we can empower ourselves outside of um, the dominant society. We have so many hateful Negroes setting upset because we're trying to make a quality black empowerment film and a black multi-purpose facility to elevate black people. Um... Please post your comments on my Facebook page and let's have this conversation. Right, Black America. Again, you know, um, there's no love loss. A lot of people in Black America has, especially here in Chicago, has been, you know, um, giving me a very hard time. When I used to do street ministry, they used to call me um, the ghetto prophet and just being all disrespectful and everything. But hey, I had to endure. I did all this stuff because I care about our people. I'm not doing this stuff just, you know, just to be doing something. Um, and besides, I mean, who else is going to do it? You know, I mean, yes, there's a lot of nonprofits out there, but we want to make some major impacts. And um, we don't want to just be holding hands talking about some kumbaya. And focus on, on the uh, pie in the sky. We want to help solve these uh, social issues. You know, that's why I'm here for. And through this Christian business, that's what we're going to do. And um, again, non-black sympathizers, they're welcome to join us. But again, this is black people's responsibility to uh, build this and to own this. Um this organization is going to be twofold. Part of it is going to be um, a nonprofit sector, and the other part would be a for profit service based sector. That's where I'm going to make my um, bread and butter. And um, again, you know, most of all, you know, I'm just grateful for this uh, opportunity. It's a long time coming. Again, you know, I've been pushing this thing going on 30 years, uh, November uh, 10th. 2021 would be um, 30 years that I've been pushing uh, Grecam. And um, yes, it's, it's very uh, sad that, you know, a lot of our people are just, you know, full of this Willie Lynch. But like I say, um, the few people that's, you know, contributing um, for our um, film project, I appreciate that. And um, I'm grateful. Um, and you will be rewarded um, for what you're doing. But again, I just ask all my Christian friends, 
because after all, this is a Christian business, to please step up. If you're not interested in, you know, what I'm trying to do for our racial group, please delete me off your friends list and, um, you know, just keep it moving. Because I want people that want to be on that, on this, um, on my friends list to be part of this. And, um, I want everybody that's, you know, working with me and Sister Renee to benefit from this organization as well. It's not about me just trying to... It's sad that, you know, um, small-minded individuals think that, you know, all I care about is just trying to sell a book. Well, I wrote the vision and made it plain. So that's important that you read the story. And uh, the reason why I'm selling it is so that way I can be in a better position so I can hire people. Because right now I don't have any volunteers. Everybody want to get paid. So... I mean, I'm doing the best that I can as an individual. But again, you know, I mean, I'm going to just do the best that I can. And, um, you know, again, I want to move from behind this computer. That's why uh, I definitely want to do this film thing to take our story to the next level. I love all of my group members. I thank God for all of you all. I thank everyone that's on my friends list. I care about everybody. I want to make sure... That, you know, um, that you're uh, prospering and that, um, you know, you're being safe, you know, because of the COVID is still out here. And now they have this um, the Delta um, variant. So that's making stuff even worse. It's really a hard time to even want to try to do uh, a film. But, you know, hey, we can't hide under a rock. You know, life goes on. So, you know, we are going to take precaution and all those things. But right now, I'm still doing what I can. And that is, you know, just giving people that's on my friends list an opportunity to come on here to promote their uh, businesses, to promote their uh, ministries. And I'm going to do that in, in our real uh, business as well. Give people an opportunity, but definitely uh, our members, people that's, you know, that's going to be active. With that being said, you know, we're going to um, conclude the show for um, for today. Thank you all for listening to this. And again, if you want to um, be updated about all the stuff that we're doing, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, for example, if you're just um, connecting with me on Anchor, then what you want to do is type in my full name. My full name is Emmanuel Barbie. That's E-M-M-A-N-U-E-L. Last name is B-A-R-B-E-E. -E. And look for me on YouTube. And um, once you um, find me, you just click on subscribe. And then you will have access to all of my um, videos. Also go to uh, the About section on my YouTube channel. And you will have access to a lot of my um, links such as um, my Medium page where I write my uh, transcripts. Um, on there also you have access to my uh, Facebook page, my Twitter page, and my, um, my author page on Amazon, my PayPal page, and also my um, virtual store account online so there you have it